Welcome to our course Digital Design with Medilog. In today's class, we are going to discuss error detection and correction codes. This part of this lecture is prepared from chapter 1 of Kohavi's book. So, we have discussed in the previous class about different binary codes. The primary objective was to encode the decimal digit from 0 to 9 in using binary numbers using 4 bits, right. So, uh, and we have seen that because this uh, particular in 4 bits in binary you can represent 16 numbers. So, there are many ways you can choose this binary numbers, uh, binary digits and associate with a particular digital number, uh, decimal number. Uh, so, that uh, we can get a different different type of codes, right. And we have discussed uh, the BCD binary coded decimal, then this uh, 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 gray code then cyclic code, there are many other code that you have discussed in the previous lectures, ok. So, now once we talk about this error detection and correction code. So, this comes in a communication uh, system where you basically transfer the numbers from one source to another destination and it might happen that in between because of some signal noise or some different noise in the signal uh, in, the, uh, in the channel, some of the bit may get corrupted ok or flipped ok. So, if you are working in a uh, safety critical system or a mission critical system where such kind of error uh, that occur in the communication channel is must be avoided ok. So, even if it is a electrical uh, thing, so it you may not probably be able to control all the time and probably this bit flip probably inevitable. At least at the destination you should be able to uh, identify or detect or possibly correct that particular bit flip ok. So, uh, once we talk about this error detection and correction, we are primarily concerned about single bit flipping, ok. So, let us now see what is the kind of uh, way we can actually identify there is some mistake happened during uh, communication, ok or error happened during communication. So, let us uh, take the uh, BCD encoding that we have discussed in the previous class and uh, this is basically binary encoding of the decimal numbers 0 to 10. Now, uh, suppose you are communicating say 1 which is 0, 0, 0, 1 and there may be a chance that single bit can flipped during the com communication. So, what are the possible? There are many ways this single bit can flop, uh, flip. So, it can be 0, 0, 0, 0, it can be 0, 0, 1, 1, right. This bit might flip this might be flip, this my bit might flip. So, this means 0 1 0 1 and this bit, bit might get flip right. So, then 1 0 0 1. The problem here is that when you communicate this number and you receive this number, you cannot uh, distinguish whether there is any mistake happen here. Why? Because this is 0 encoding of 0 which is already there in this list. So, if you receive this probably you will understand I, uh, the 0 was communicated. You will not realize that 1 was communicated and you have received 0. Similarly, this is the encoding of 3. So, if you receive this you will not able to distinguish between 1 and 3. Similarly, this is the encoding of 5 which you again cannot distinguish and this is the encoding of 9. So, this tells us that this kind of BCD or this kind of code what we have discussed in previous class they are not detectable or correctable code ok. So, that far we understood. So, we need a different encoding scheme. So, that probably we have kind of agreed by this point of time. Now, let us try to understand how we can develop such encoding of error detection and correction. So, for that the first thing I want to introduce is the distance ok between two code. So, if you take this 0, 0, 0, 1, and if you take this this one which is 0 0 0 0 you will see that the number of distance the difference in bit is only here right. So, this is 1 and other are 0. So, the distance is basically 1 number of bit where they are differ. So, all these 4 that I have taken have a distance 1 from 0 0 0 1 right. Again, I am repeating distance is basically when you take two encoding, the number of bit that differs in position wise, right. So, if you take say 1 0 0 1 and say 1 1 0 0, 
the number of bit difference again is 1 plus and 2 plus. So, it is 2. Okay. So, what we understood that if I encode certain things and if it flips by a single bit, whatever the value I am getting, they must not be a valid encoding of this particular number system. right? So, for example, here I communicate 1 and after single bit flip I got 3 and uh, say 0, 0, 1, 1 and if there is no encoding of any of this 0 to 9 digit with 0, 0, 1, 1, I can say that this is the error. right? So, that means in whatever the code that is possible in distance 1 from a valid encoding, they must not be there in the particular encoding. right? So, if I choose to encode 1 by 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, then 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1 will not be a valid encoding in some encoding scheme, not in this. So, since BCD does not have this feature, so this is not error detectable code. Okay. But one more important thing is that, say suppose you also have 1, 0, 0, 0. So, this is what is 8, right? And if there is a single bit flip happen, so then you will reach this, right? So, that means whatever the error code that may be reachable from two different valid encoding, right? Because we are concerned about at this point of time detectable code. So, even if I reach to the same wrong code, it does not matter. We will say this is not a valid code in my uh, encoding scheme. So, I will say this is an error happen because the detectable is, is that I just want to say there is an error happen, you resend the data because I received something wrong, right. I do not want to correct myself, right. I do not want to correct the code on my own. I just ask them to say resend the thing again, right. So, in error detectable code, the error codes, so this is the say error code, this is a error code, I am just writing by the error code, this is error code this is a valid code, valid encoding, this is a valid code. Uh, so, then this error code may be reached by uh, for more than one valid code, right? that is the point I was trying to emphasize. Say for example, if uh, this is one of the error code, this I if in single distance I can reach from 1, 0, 1, 1, right? this is from where also I can reach here, I can reach this from also 0, 1, 1, 1, right. This is maybe a valid code, this is maybe a valid code because if I just flip this bit, I will get this one. If I flip this bit, I will get this one and so on. So, uh, this I understood that I should have uh, uh, certain uh, coding uh, is valid, some of them is invalid and uh, uh, the distance uh, of the invalid code from the valid code should be 1. Okay? But then what about the distance between two valid code, right? So, for example, if you take this is a valid code 0, 0, 0, 1, this is a valid code. So, I am just giving an example, right? 1, 0, 0, 0. So, how many bit position it differ is 2, right? So, that means if you have a valid code, if you do a single bit, you will get an error code. There may be another valid code from there also if you have a single bit flip, you will get an error code. So, the total distance between val two valid code is 2, right. So, whenever the distance between two valid code is 2, then that will be error detectable code because whenever the error happen in a single bit in a valid code, this will always reach to a error code. It will not reach to another valid code, okay. That is the kind of philosophy that we are trying to develop. So, that is what is being summarized here. For any error detecting code, the minimum distance will be 2 between two valid codes, right. So, what is happening? If single error occurs, then it will transform a valid code word into an invalid code word or incorrect one, right. So, making it detectable. So, we will always understand that this is not a valid code. So, we will just say that some error happen in somewhere. I do not know where, from what is the correct code. Uh, but I know there are some error happen. Okay. So, now uh, what will be the number of bits we need for uh, doing this? So, uh, as we have discussed in previous class that since we have 10 decimal number, so we need at least 10 locations for that we need 4 bits. right? 
but it is clearly understood that in this kind of error code we need uh, more bits okay and uh, because there will be many error code uh, which is reachable in one distance from a valid code so general philosophy of error code detectable code is that if there are n possible values right we need at least 2n possible values representation okay or in the sense see if i use this 10 values here so if there are four bits rather if i tell this way there are four bits so there are 16 possible values right possible values you can represent here right so out of this 16 possible values you can use half of it which is 8 so if we use four bits i can at most represent eight valid code word okay so, but in our decimal we have 10 digits so i cannot use four bit to represent this 10 decimal number digits uh, in a error detectable code so we need at least five bits okay so we need basically five bits to store this decimal digits in a any error detectable code okay so one of the most important such error detectable code is called parity code we will discuss that in subsequently so this is the point i was making so if there are n bit error detecting code so in our case it is one bit we cannot not more than half of the possible n to the power n combination of digit can be used okay this is our five bits that i just talked about so uh, for our this is single error single bit i mean we are all bothered about a single bit error okay so if i have five bits uh, so I can only use half of it. So the, uh, uh, that means two to the power five, thirty-two. So I can use sixteen of them. Okay. So half of them will be error code. Uh, you cannot just choose this uh, valid code arbitrarily. That we have probably realized by this time. We have to carefully choose this word that will represent this number zero to nine such that single bit always reach to some invalid code, right? So, we have to choose this manner such a way that in order to change one valid code word into another valid code word at least two digit must be complemented. That means, if I complement a single bit it will always reach to error code right. So, for example, suppose if you have 1011 if we do a one bit change so then 1 1 say 1 1 and then say uh, I just change this bit so then this is 0 1 1 1 this may be a valid code. Right, I am just giving an example and this is a error code. So, if we make two bit changes I will I can reach to another valid code, but if single bit I will always reach to a error code. Okay. So, uh, in this class I am going to talk two such error detecting code uh, one is parity checking code and is two out of five code. Okay. So, the parity checking is very simple uh, we can just develop it uh, easily. So, what we can do we can just take the BCD encoding of this digits right. So, if I just take 0 to 10 their BCD encoding is this right from 0000, 0, 0, 0 to 1001 0, right. So, this is we are familiar with already. So, what we will do as I mentioned for 4 bit for this 10 uh, decimal digit I need 5 bits. So, the fifth bit that I am going to add is a parity bit okay. this is my parity bit. And then what I am going to do, I make it this even parity. What does this mean? I just want to make sure that in this particular encoding, every encoding, every uh, valid word has a even number of 1, even number of 1s, right, in a valid code. So, the way I am going to set this, so this part is already set, right. I know this is the encoding of binary encoding of this number 0 to 9. Now, I will set the value of the parity such a way that this particular row has even number of 1. So, already if there are even uh, in the encoding I have even number of 1, then I will put 0 here, right. So, for example, here 1 0 0 1, so there are 2 1s. So, even number of 1, so I will put 0 here. If you take this one, here I have 1, 2, 3, so there are odd number of 1, so I will put 1 here, so that number of 1 here become 4 
or even right. You take this one here I have two ones, so even number of ones. So, I will just add 0 here. So, that total number of 1 remain even. So, this is how I will set the value of this parity bit. Okay? I think this is uh, clear. So, it will be easily creatable. right? I can just create this even parity BCD easily. So, let us now see what is happening here, uh, why this code uh, has the distance 2 and uh, whenever I have a single bit, I will always reach to a invalid code. So, because here I have uh, all the encoding has even number of 1, right? if any single bit flip it can be 0 or 1, uh, then it will always become a odd number of 1, right? because if a 0 flip then if earlier there are k number of 1, uh, it will become k plus number of 1. Now, right? If a 1 bit flips and earlier there are k 1s here, so now it will become k minus number of 1. Right. So, if k even implies this will be always odd. Right. So, that means whenever a single bit flip happen here, I will always reach to a particular code word which is have a odd number of 1 and which is not a valid code in my encoding. Right. So, here let us see the number of 1 can be 0 to 4 right? because it is even. So, I have 0 0 0. So, I have encoded 0 with 0 number of 1. Then with 2 number of 1, let us see here, I have encoded 1 because it has 2 number 1, 2, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, also 8 and 9 and 7 is encoded with 4 ones, right. So, there are one number here, one number here and eight numbers are here. right? So, this is how I have encoded my digits here. So, now you can see easily that the distance between uh, these numbers are always 2. right? So, because there are number of uh, at least 2, uh, it can be more than 2 also. So, for uh, here at least there are 2 2, right? 2 ones and there are here 4 ones. So, even if you make uh, maximum uh, flip to 1 bit, so then I can reach here, but you uh, the distance may be more than that also. Right? So, for example, if you see this say 10010 0, 0, 1, 0, which is 9 right? and if you take 7 which is uh, 0 1 1 1 1, the so distance is 1 2 3 4, the distance is 4. But you cannot have uh, two values which has distance 1 because they are always even number of 1. So, even if you try to single bit flip it will always become odd number of 1. right? So, it will never go to the other one. So, this way this even parity based BCD is a error detecting code. I can always say that say suppose I have uh, 0 0 1 1 0 and if a single bit flip happens suppose flips happen here. right? So, then I will reach 1 0 1 1 0. If the flip happens here, I will reach 0 1 1 1 0. If the flip happen here, I will reach uh, 0 0 0 1 0. If the flip happen here, it will be 0 0 1 0 0. And if the flip happen here, I will reach 0 0 1 1 1. You see here number of 1 is 3, number of 1 is 1, number of 1 is 1, number of 1 is 3, number of 1 is 3. So, there is no such encoding which has 3 number of 1s. So, I can safely say that uh, if a single bit error happen, I can detect it with this. right? The second encoding, error detectable encoding called 2 out of 5, as the name suggests, what we do here? We basically keep at most 2 1s in encoding. Okay? So, if there are 5 bits, there are 10 such scenarios okay, where there will be 2 1s. Okay. In encoding, every encoder has 2 1s. Okay. So, for example, 0 we have 0 0 0 1 1, for 1 it is 1 1 0 0 0, for 2 it is 1 0 1 and 0 0. So, you can see here there are 2 1s here, 2 1s here, 2 1s here and so on. Here it is there are 2 1s, here it, there are 2 1s 
in every place you will see there are in each row there are two, two ones right. So, every row has two ones. So, I can say this is two out of five bits. So, there are five bits been used here out of that I will keep two and there are 10 such possibilities. So, I will just assign them and obviously you can understand that this is single bit detectable code because whenever any bit flipped whether it is a 0 or 1 it will be become odd because from 2 either it will become 3 or it will be become 1 because there are two ones if a 1 bit flip it will become 3 uh, uh, 0 uh, sorry 1 1 number 1 and if a 0 bit flips then it will become 3 number of ones. So, it is always a invalid code here and as a result I can detect them. So, how do I have assigned these values because you cannot just keep remember them here uh, it is kind of a weighted code ok. How do I assign these values is like this. So, I just put a weight here 0, 1, 2, 4 and 7 and now you can see that if you take any encoding if you just multiply these values I mean you just sum these weights you will get the corresponding digits ok. Say for example, if you take 1 0 0 0 1 uh, then it is 1 into 0 plus this one is 7 into 1 which is 7 right. So, this is 7 if you take uh, this one it is 0 1 1 0 0 and so this is basically 1 into 1 plus 1 into 2 which is 3. So, this is encoding of 3. So, this is how I just assign this value. So, this is a weighted code except the 0. So, what we do we basically choose the other one based on the weights other uh, 9 and 0 I will just whatever the leftover that I will assign to 0 ok. So, this way you can easily encode this otherwise it is very difficult to remember which one is which encoding is associated with the which decimal number. But if you just assume this weights 0 1 2 4 7 then you can easily find out uh, the encoding of each digits here and only the 0 does not satisfy this one ok. For 0 it is basically the, the last one which will assign here. Okay. So, we discussed two error detecting code here. You can also think about have a odd parity BCD where basically I will just maintain that the number of 1 in each row is odd and I will set the parity bit according to that requirement. Okay. So, this we have already discussed. So, now uh, come back to the point error correcting code. So, in the error detecting code that what we have understood that if we change a value uh, a bit it will give become an incorrect code, but I will not determine whether this error code comes from which correct code that is not possible there ok that I have already explained. But in error correcting code your requirement is that if a single bit error happen uh, you should understand that this code can only reachable from this correct code. And then if you have that luxury in your encoding then you can always correct it ok. Say for example, if you uh, take the same example again say, say 0 0 0 0 and if you have a single bit flip. So, this is 0 0 0 1 or 0 0 1 0 or 0 1 0 0 or 1 0 0 0. So, if I this error code this 4 error code each not reachable from any other correct code. So, that means, this error can happen only from 0 0 0 0 if this is a valid code I am just giving an example. So, if that is ensured then I can tell I can always identify that if I receive this error code I will say oh, this is coming from 0. So, the correct code was 0 0 0 0 right. So, how this will can be ensured. So, I have a valid code right and a single bit error happens. So, you will get a error code. Suppose, there is another valid code there is a single bit error happen you will get a error code. Now, this error code and this error code should be of distance as this one. So, they cannot be same right the distance between these two error codes should be 1 right. So, that I will understand this is my boundary of error codes and this is my boundary of error code that is reachable from this valid code this is valid code 1, this is valid code 2 and they are non overlapping. So, hence I can always identify these are the error code that is reachable from this 
and these are the error code that is reachable from this ok. So, then I can correct it. So, then what it suggests the distance should be 3 1 2 3. So, if the distance between two valid code is at least 3 then this will result in a error correcting code and if I if you remember uh, that for error detecting code I say the distance is 2 because this is a valid code 1 you reach a with a single bit a one error code and there is a valid code 2 you can reach to the same error code because as long as we understand this is a error code this is valid code it is fine. So, that means the boundary of error code that is reachable from valid code 1 and the number of uh, error code that is reachable from by valid code 2 they will overlap there will be some uh, error code that will reachable from both valid code 1 and valid code 2. So, then this is distance is 2 for error detecting code. and for distance is 3 for error correcting code. Okay. So, this is the crucial difference between this error correcting code and error detecting code. Okay. As I mentioned here, so your distance should be at least 3. Okay. So, if you just read out any single error changes a valid code into an invalid code where distance 1 away from the original code and distance 2 away from the other valid code. Okay. So, this way I can develop a code. Okay. So, now uh, one example here. So, if the minimum distance is 4, right? so this is a valid code 1, then you get a error code, there is another code here, there is another code 1, 2, 3, 4. So, this is another valid code. So, a, this is basically a single bit error correction because if single bit error happen I can reach here and single bit error happen I can reach here, but if there are two bits error happen from here I can reach here and if two bit error happen here I can reach here. So, I will not able to distinguish whether this error code is reached from valid code 1 or valid code 2. So, even if the distance is 4 it is a single error correcting code. Okay but this is 2 or 3 error detecting code because from here even if uh, 1 error happen it will reach here, 2 errors happen it will reach here, 3 errors happen it reach here. right? So, I will not reach another valid code. So, I can detect up to 3 bit error in this a correct code. Similarly, from here if single bit error happen I will reach here, 2 bit error happen I will reach here, 3 bit error happen I will reach here, but I am not reaching another valid code. So, this is if there are distance is 4, it is double error detection or triple error detection, but it is still a single bit error correction code. Okay. So, this is something you should keep in mind. Now, the interesting part is how do I effectively develop such a code. Okay. Obviously, since we have many will result in many error code now, the distance will be more and it is 3. So, that means I need more bits to represent this. So, with 5 bit I cannot represent my decimal digit here because I will have many error code here. Okay. I have to make sure that this error codes are non overlapping as well. Okay. So, let us see how we can do this. So, one popular uh, error correcting code is called Hamming code. So, we will discuss how this is being developed. Okay. Suppose you have m bits message, okay. m information message bits. And in this Hamming code, we are again inserting certain parity bits. So, if you remember that parity check bit that I have talked about detecting bit, so I just use a single parity bit. So, I take the encoding of by a BCD and just add a even parity bit. So, it will become 5 bits. So, in general, if say there are m bits and say suppose I have used k parity bits, okay. so the total code size is now m plus k. So, I have now m plus k bits is needed how this parity will happen earlier the parity was for error detecting code the parity bit I have a single parity bit and that just makes sure that the entire code has even parity. Now, since I have k parity bits, so this k will not check the each of the bit will not check for the entire uh, entire encoding because then it is useless. right? 
So, what it will do? It will specifically check the parity of specific bits. Okay, that will discuss how. And usually, these parity bits are stored in this uh, two to the power i location. Okay, so the locations is like say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 and so on. So, usually we will put the parity bits in this location, right. So, suppose, so this is my parity bit 1, this is parity bit 2 and message bit 1 here, message bit 2 here, sorry here parity bit 3 will come. So, parity bit 3 will come here, message bit 2 will come here, message bit 3 will come here, message bit 4 will come here, parity bit 4 will come here message with 5, message with 6 and so on. So, I am just thinking about there are m message bits which is basically m 1, m 2 to m m and uh, the parity bits are basically k 1, k 2 to k k kind of. Okay. So, they will be placed like this order not that the parity will be at the end the message bit first and the parity bit it is not like that. So, it will be mix up. This is how I will just mix these parity bits and uh, the message bits okay? and the order you understood. In every 2 to the power i location the message bit will be there, uh, these parity bits and other locations the message bits will be there. Okay? So, for example, here 2 to the power 0 k 1, 2 to the power 1 k 2, 2 to the power 2 k 3, 2 to the power uh, 3 k 4 and so on and the intermediate positions are the message bits. Now, this k we will check specific locations, which location we will discuss. So, probably say this will check some subset of the locations, k 3 will subset of the location. Okay. So, this way I will basically keep the information and I will generate the code. Okay. And once we receive this code and if there is a single bit error happen, this will impact this value of k 1, k 2, k 3, right? parity bits. And from the value of this k 1, k 2 to k k, k I will identify exactly which location the error happened. Okay. So, that is the core idea. So, what is the value of k for a given m that you have to understood. So, as I mentioned that if k parity bits are there and m message bits are there, I have told you that there will be m plus k number of bits now in the encoding. Okay. Now, plus there is a no error case. So, the total number of values is basically m plus k plus 1. First of all, there are m plus k digits, the example that I have taken here. So, m plus k digits and error can happen here, error can happen here, error can happen in any location. right? So, that means m plus k locations, any of the bit can flip right, during communication. So, the possible locations of error is m plus k and there is no error which is one scenario. So, the total possible scenario is basically m plus k plus 1. Okay. So, now your k should be large enough to identify this. So, if there are k bits how many possible value it can represent 2 to the power k and then this 2 to the power k must be greater than equal to this right because with k bits I should identify any locations one of the m plus k location plus no error. Right. So, and since this 2 to the power k is the possible value this it represents, then uh, I can basically need at least 2 to the power k should be greater than equal to m plus k plus 1. So, now in our bis, uh, in a decimal I have 10 numbers, right. So, my m is equal to 10 numbers. So, for this I need at least 4 bits, right. So, 4 bits. So, m is 4 and I will use the again the BCD encoding. Okay. So, now to satisfy this equation for 4, which is basically 4 plus k plus 1, which is less than k. So, if, if, if we put 1, obviously it is not, if it is put 2 to the power 2, which is 4, which is not greater than this. If I put k equal to 3, 2 to the power is 8 greater than 4 plus 3 plus 1, which is 8. So, k equal to 3 for my BCD numbers. Right. So, I need basically uh, 4 bits of message, I need k uh, 3 bits of parity check bits and as I mentioned, so the locations are like this. Right. So, I have k 1, 
because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 K 2 M 1 K 3 because in 2 to the power i locus and the parity bits will be there. Then M 2 M 3 and M 4 right. So, this is my order. Now, let us see what is the idea here. Suppose you want to communicate the value 1 0 1 1. So, your value was 1 0 1 1 which is basically 11 right. So, which is which is basically this is m 1 this is m 2 m 3 and m 4 this is my message bit. How do I set the value of k 1 k 2 k 3 here? So, that if the error happen in any of the bits I can identify from the value of k 1 and k 2 and k 3 of the received message. So, let us try to understand this. So, I have uh, k 1 k 2 k 3 right and it is something like this. So, because I just assume that uh, this uh, the k 1 values will designate the location number right. So, if it is basically say 0 0 0 I will say there is no error right. So, there is no error. So, error position is 0 because there is no error. If it is 0 0 0 1 then I will say it ha error happen in this bit the first bit ok. If it is 0 1 0 I will say the error happen here in the second bit and so on right. So, if uh, the value of k 1 k 2 k 3 turns out to be this I will say this have happened here right. So, that means 0 1 1 this is bit number 3 1 0 0 bit number 4 1 0 1 bit number 5 which is basically here 1 1 0 bit number 6 if it is 1 1 1 it bit number 7. This is what uh, the valuation because this is the I, I told you there are 3 bits. So, their value represent the bit number where the error actually happened ok. Now, what I am going to do it here? How do I identify the location numbers right? So, you see here this k 1 actually uh, impacted if the error happen in 4, 5, 6, 7. k 2 will be impacted if error happens in 2, 3 and 6, 7 right 2, 3, 6, 7. K 3 will be impacted if error happens in 1, 3, 5 and 7 in these locations right. So, that means, I will store the parity even parity information of 4, 5, 6, 7 in k 1 location. I will store the even parity information of 2, 3, 6, 7 in k 2 locations and I will store the even parity information of 1, 3, 5, 7 in k 3 location or the parity bits ok. So, let us try to uh, explain uh, this particular example. So, I have taken this 1, 0. So, I can just solve it here. So, what I have done here is I have taken say 1011 my message is 1011. So, I have 1011. So, first you should find out this value then you should find out this value then you should find out this value then this order will be perfect. So, let me just uh, for completeness let me explain this again just to uh, show you that how this process is seamless 1011. Let us say this is my message I am talking about. So, 1357 right. So, now this uh, you have m 1 here then 5 is 0 and 7 is 1. So, to make it uh, to make it even I have to put 0 here right. Then if you take the next bit here. So, this is I should do first this is second this is third. Now, for this one it is 2 3 6 7. So, I have three, 1 in 3 location 6 7 is 1 1. So, to make it even I have to put 1 here right. Now, I have to take uh, this 4 5 6 7 right. So, in 4 5 6 7 
I do not have anything in 4, but 5 is 0, 1 and 1, right. So, in this case what I will do, I will to make it, I have to put 0 here, okay. So, you should consider 1, 3, 5, 7 first, then 2, 3, 6, 7, then 4, 5, 6, 7, right. So, this is the order you should calculate and this will be my coded word, okay. So, this is what Hamming code. So, this is what exactly I have discussed. So, you have three positions and I have just described this that this bit position will be encoded like this and then from there you can actually identify what are the bits you should store here, right. So, this is as I mentioned here, it is basically P1 will store 1357, P2 will store 2367, P3 will store 4567. Okay. Uh, one more example here. So, if the encoding was 0100, 0, 0, so the message is stored in M1, M2, M3, M4 and now first I will calculate the 1357 location, right. So, 1357 is this. So, you will basically you have 3, 5 and 7, right. So, this is 1357. So, 3, 5 and 7 you have already this. So, to make it even you have to put 1 here, right. Now, for 3, 6, 7 you have 3 you have 0, 6 and 7 you have 0. So, to make it 3, 6, 7. So, to make it even because all 0 you have to put 0 here. Now, you will calculate 4, 5, 6, 7. So, 4 uh, you have already, so this is this bit is not there, right. So, 5, 6, 7 is already there. 5, 6, 7 is already there. So, to make it even you will put 1 here. So, this is my actual encoding, right. So, this is how I can calculate what is the encoding of this uh, any binary value that I want to communicate. Now, how can I detect the error? So, here is the encoding of all uh, values which is uh, the corresponding uh, Hamming code corresponding to this decimal values, okay. You can recalculate and cross check. Okay. So, now how do I basically uh, identify the error? Okay. So, let us try to understand that. So, what is going to happen here if you just uh, think about this? Okay. Suppose you are actually transmitted the value, say, uh, let me just take one of the example, say this 100, 1100, 100, 1100. Okay. So, this is the correct code, right, valid code and say so the error happened here. So, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right, the locations and third location the error happened. So, the uh, received code is this, okay. So, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. So, this is the bit that has changed. So, that means the third bit. So, if I receive this one, and now again I am going to check the uh, parity of 4, 5, 6, 7, 2, 3, uh, 6, 7 and 1, 3, 5, 7 these locations, right. So, what is going to happen? So, if you check the, uh, if this bit happened 3, right. So, then what will happen? The 4, uh, uh, this will impact because this 3 happen in uh, C 2 and C 3. So, this will definitely impact here because earlier uh, it was even parity for this 1357 location and 2367 location. So, since 3 has impacted here, this 2 bit will become 1, right? The recalculated value will be 1 and this uh, it is not going to impact C1, so it will remain 0. So, you should effectively reach, uh, you should get the calculated value 1011, right? So, that you understand that it happened, the bit happening 3 third bit. So, let us see why it is uh, it is going to happen or not, okay. So, if I take this uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, so 4, 5, 6, 7 there is even number of 0, right. So, C 1, 0, C 2 is 2, 3, 2, 3 and 6, 7. So, it will odd number of 1, right. Then C 3, it is 1, 3, 5, 7, right, 1, 3, 5 and 7. So, that means there are this is 1, 3, 5 and 7. So, there are 3 1. So, it will 1. So, you can see here that it come equal to 3. 
So, it will say it is actually error happened in th third bit. So, you flip this bit, you will get this one, right. So, because uh, the way I have uh, stored this information, if that particular bit error happen, it will impact uh, the corresponding parity bits, right. So, there is one more calculation here, say uh, the transmitted value is this and receipt value is this. So, this bit is swept, right. So, that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So, it is in fifth bit, right. So, let us uh, calculate the parity bit again. So, this uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, uh, if I take this value, this 4, 5, 6, 7, it is C1 equal to 1. Then if you take 2, 3 and 6, 7, it will come up to be 0, because there are even number of 1. And then if you take 1, 3, 5, 7, which is uh, 1, 3, 5, 7, there are odd number of 1, so it will come in under 1. So, this is 5. So, you will say that error happened in the fifth bit and the correct bit it will be the flipping value of this right which is the correct value ok. So, this way we can actually encode this uh, binary numbers uh, or the BCD numbers using 7 bits in Hamming code and uh, once we reach uh, once whatever we receive we uh, can just check the parity of those specific location that uh, 4, 5, 6, 7 then 2, 3, 6, 7 and then 1, 3, 5, 7. And from there I can actually find out is there any error happen or not and it will basically identify the value of the bit position where the actual error happened. Okay. So, with this we can actually correct the code as well. So, with this we uh, conclude today's discussion on error detecting and correcting codes. Thank you. Mm -hmm.